Dr. Robert Kassar here from Big Island of Hawaii. I'm going to show you something really cool today. This is how to make a gift that most likely, well, I know just about everybody I know has never had one of these. And this is a alcohol that you actually use from someone else that made the alcohol, but what you're going to do is turn it into a healthy liqueur, mineralized, full of silica, okay, full of different types of flavors that are all good for you. And we're going to immerse fruit and some vanilla beans and some, well, some goji berries if you like, or some golden berries. And I'm going to put in my probiotic elixir, as I call it, and we're going to turn this alcohol into a super, super <laughs> mineralized, good for you uh, alcohol. Most people think that alcohols aren't good for them, but in actuality, alcohol is basically a, a fuel. And it's just like salt, okay? Fuels are, well, calories. And calories, depending on how they're put into the system, alcohol by itself, just so you know, just like salt by itself. This is vodka here. And this by itself, if you drink it, to me, is very dry and it's damaging to the cells. Okay, it's dry of lubrication, it's dry of minerals. Look at this as if this was just regular table salt that you bought at the store. The same thing. That's why table salt's bad for you. Table salt doesn't have any minerals in it. So, you know, when you take that table salt in, it does go ahead and dry you out. It does cause damage. And salt with the minerals, well, then, of course, it's good for you. It's conductive, okay? It's actually making you so you can become, well, alive because you need the conductance, you need the minerals, you need these electrolytes. So we're actually going to show you the lineup here, and the lineup's really simple. Okay, so this is our jar that I'm using, and this is already filled full of vodka. I put in about 15 of the lychee right here, and here's a lychee. I once packed them in there, I put some golden berries in there and you can see these are big vanilla beans right here and you just sort of poke those in on the side and they're going to marinate in there so they're going to be a tincture now the reason I'm using the lychee you can use anything use the skins the skins are pharmacological uh, there's all different parts of of every plant that basically has different qualities to it the roots you know the the, the stems sometimes the bark uh, on on this fruit the skin is very, very good uh, for parasites and for healing lots of different things. So uh, inside, of course, there's also a, a seed. And just to show you, you can do this with anything. You can do this with apples. You can do this with bananas. I'm going to show you. Mangoes. We're doing lychee because we have a large lychee farm here. And you can see the inside of here. It's super sweet and um, the fruit is going to go ahead and let out its sugar into the alcohol okay the alcohol is going to go into the fruit and it's going to turn this into a a pretty different type of alcohol I call this a dessert alcohol again you never drink alcohol with food it stops all digestion Fats have nine calories per gram. Okay, that's the power. Alcohol has seven calories per gram. And proteins have four calories per gram. Carbohydrates have four ca carb, uh, uh, calories per gram. So you can see that, that fats, number one, number two is alcohol, and then three and four are the same, which are protein and carb. So Alcohol basically overrides a lot of digestion if you actually look at the physiology and you'll see it. So drinking alcohol with your meal, it's not great to do, okay? Not only is it disrupting a lot of the microbacteria that live in your stomach, okay? Because they're there to feed. They're there to process, okay? The alcohol actually goes into the cells and uh, it just, if you're going to drink, you drink before you eat. Just don't mix it. Once you start to eat, you're done drinking. So if... If anybody was going to drink this, they'd wait about an hour after dinner and then have some. But if I was going to do this, I would drink this, have some before dinner. Okay, this is uh, sort of like an appetizer. 
So here we go. Let me show you this super mineralized liqueur vodka. You can see, like I said, vanilla beans in there, some golden berries. I'm going to put a crystal in there. This is going for a gift. And, and I usually put the crystal at the bottom, but I wanted to show you. And the crystals, you know, it's, I'm giving these out as gifts. This is the first alcohol most people have, have actually taken that's actually good for you. I'm using five times distilled alcohol. You can use any type. Try to get five times. Okay, that's how clean it is. And then what I do is I put in a variety of different types of minerals and things to be able to make the alcohol, like I said, turn into a super mineralized, uh, it's a carrier is what it is. So this is ionic magnesium minerals. Okay, and I put about 20 drops in here. I put in two capfuls of the living silica. I put in a quarter teaspoon of the cinnamon powder. And I put in four big vanilla beans. These are all raw and they smell so good. I put in uh, about an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. And I put uh, maybe about 30 of the wild crafted golden berries. I put a spray of sole salt, which is our mineralized salt. And maybe about uh, uh, half a teaspoon. And I put in one tablespoon of my probiotic. Okay, because I want to turn this into a live probiotic. It's going to turn into a little ferment and it tastes super good. Now what makes it taste good because the alcohol, remember, and the bacteria we put in there, they're going to eat up all the sugar. So it's not going to taste sweet. And you know, if you don't want it to taste sweet, it's okay. But what I found out, people like to have the sweetness. So I'm going to put in about this much green stevia that we have. And these are what the golden berries look like. And they'll swell up. And golden berries aren't going to sweep with their tart. And they have a really good flavor they put in there. Sort of like a real super vitamin C flavor. So what I also like to do is I'm going to put in one. This is one of our ghost chili peppers. You can put in some of our cayenne pepper, which is really hot. Okay, I'm just going to set this in. And I'm not going to cut it up because these are super hot. These are actually dangerous <laughs> because they're too hot. So um, I'm just going to pop that in there just like this. And just make sure it's under the alcohol. So the alcohol, what it's going to do, it's going to leach out all the good stuff in the skin. Okay, all this this goodness that's in the skin. If you look this up, you'll see that lychee are magical. Okay, they've got many different properties. The polysaccharides in here, these are really good for your body. Polysaccharides are good for detoxification, for your brain, for your nerves. Okay, all these different things. So this alcohol, like I said, super super um it, remember it's not bad for you it's good for you on an empty stomach okay so uh and what i like to go ahead and do is if i'm going to drink some of this i'll take uh either a lychee because the lychee is super strong in alcohol okay and the liquid in here since it's got stevia in here it's got the vanilla bean and everything's going to taste really super good so just eating one of these is loaded full of the of the probiotic bacteria. Okay, we put probiotic bacteria in here. Remember, they will grow in the alcohol. It doesn't kill them. <clears throat> Done this many, many, many times. In fact, our crop next year, we're going to make 10,000 jars of these, and we're going to start this out. Um, this is a, like I said, a, a healthy, mineralized liqueur. And you make it yourself. It's very simple, like I'm showing you. I'm showing you some secrets here. Okay, people don't like to show you how to do things. Why? It's because it's business. You never go ahead and tell the truth and or you never tell about what you're doing because if not, you don't have any business. But this is a really cool gift for you to make. Like I said, you can do it with any fruit. You can do it with a whole mango, peel off the skin and just drop the whole thing in there. Bang. Okay. Uh, you can take bananas and you don't even have to take the skin off. Just go ahead and wash them. Put them in there. You can make bigger jars. This one's a good gift jar though size. And you can see this is a brand new bottle of vodka. That's all the vodka. That's it. I only used in that much because I've got about a pound of fruit in there. So we only use that much vodka in there. Now, it takes about maybe a week or so. And you just put on a tap top. This is a old coconut uh, oil jar that I keep. And I'm going to use the top here. And you want to put it on, you know, tight. And... Uh, you really want to watch the lids you're using, metal lids and all different things, okay? Just do that because if not, you get a lot of contamination that goes inside. So this lid here, uh, 
is not the lid I'm going to use, but I have a bisphenol A free cap lid. If not, what you do is you get some food grade uh, plastic they make and you put that on first, sort of like a condom, then you put the top on and then you can shake it and everything. So uh, the alcohol, remember, leaches and takes out everything. So it'll also take out plastics out of the cap and different things like that. So uh, I have special caps that don't leach. But this is a beautiful gift. Like I said, it takes about a week. If it lasts six months or a year or two, it doesn't matter. It just keeps getting better. You do not have to refrigerate it, but if you want to serve it, it does taste better cold. Okay? So this is really super good uh, uh, as far as a social. Instead of pulling out the alcohol, that's all poisonous. Okay? Most of the alcohols are dry and they're just poisonous. They have nothing in them and they've got a lot of toxicity in them, including a lot of wines and everything else. You can do this with wine also. Remember, you put the minerals in the wine, put the silica in the wine, and make it so it's got health to it. And uh, I try to put a little bit of a, a shot of sole salt in there also. And this is a little pump misto sprayer. Um, I put my liquid salt in there. And mine's a jalapeno salt too, so it's really hot and spicy, really good. It does taste better when you do use the vanilla beans, and if you want to taste, make it taste really good, like I said, so everybody will like it. Just put the stevia in. The stevia will not get eaten by the probiot or, or by these bacteria. All of the sugar, okay, that's in the fruit, remember, is going to get eaten up, so the fruit's not going to be sweet. So that's why I put the stevia in there, so it turns it into a liqueur. If you don't want to make it sweet, because some people don't, okay, you can put in a little stevia, or you can put in a, a lot to make it really, you know, sweet tasting. But you can't put sugar in here because the sugar won't last um, uh, because it's got probiotic bacteria. So, so this is another way to be able to actually, instead of just fermenting live fruit, hold on a sec, I'll show you my live fruit. Okay, so this is my same thing. Remember, we did the lychees here and the alcohol, and I took the skins off and I did them here. And so this is my my fermented live fruit. You can see big pieces of mango in there, papaya, um, just, and this is probably about a month old. I'm gonna try one right now. And it doesn't matter how old they get. The older they get, the better they get. This is a lychee. Cool, is that strong? Okay. You can taste the super life force in there, okay? There's no sugar in there. It's sort of vinegary. And all the bacteria are in here. This is like having five probiotic pills that you would take. Remember, and you just make as many as you want. And you just keep on making jars of this and you never have to use, remember, probiotic pills in everything. All you have to do is take out some of the juice of your base and add it to anything and it'll just propagate as long as it's got sugar. So, whew, what is my other month? I got little vinegary to them, so they're really good in salad dressings, okay? Most people don't eat them like this. I use these to be able to add to things. I'll put a couple of these in my smoothie. Remember, this is like, this is like super medicine here. And so again, don't think that this alcohol is bad for you. Just be smart. You never drink, or at least I don't, and I've experimented with this quite a bit, with a lot of patients, a lot of different people that basically all have indigestion problems. Alcohol stops your digestion, so if you're going to have any alcohol whatsoever, then you want to drink it before you eat. And if you eat sugar, I found out with beer, okay, and yeast and everything else, what do you think the yeast in there? They make it with yeast, okay, hops and all these different cultures, and you drink this beer, okay, that's why a lot of people, people get beer bellies. And you put a lot of sugar in your diet, okay, or sugar in, in that at that point in time when you're, you know, eating whatever you're eating with drinking beers and having them with your meal. That's just a disaster for getting fat. It's a disaster for, for growing yeast colonies in your system and bacteria colonies in your system. That's why you see a lot of people, they have the typical beer belly. So in the typical beer belly, remember, when it extends out like that, that's because those are parasites in there. Those are body fat is a parasite. The intestinal tract, remember, is 40 feet long. And in fact, with this skin in here, a lot of the, the these very special, these are parasitic um, uh, cleaners, they're in the alcohol. And then when you drink that on an empty stomach, this is not just an alcohol, you'll feel it in your head. 
This is like therapy. Okay, this isn't fruit. This is therapy. And therapy for what? For cleaning up a lot of different things. Remember, these are tinctures. You put alcohol and we use vodka, which is very strong. It's 80 proof. It's going to leach out everything in the skin. If you don't want the skin in there, don't put it in. I like the skin in there, okay, in the alcohol because it takes out. You can see it's already turning purple. It's taking out the purple color, okay. The, fi the all the, the, the FICOs, the different types of colors, burgundies, Okay, and, and I took the skin off of this one here just because this is the type I wanted to do. But if I wanted to get more medicinal, I would do the same with the fruit. And I put the skin on it. Leave it on. Okay. You're not going to eat the skin, but the skin, like I said, is going to leach out. It's going to go ahead and actually whatever quality is in here in the skin. And nothing eats the skin. That's the sort of the protection of the lychee. It's like you can put even neem in here. You can put in different herbs and different things like this. These are called tinctures. And the alcohol go in and they actually leach it out. Okay, have fun with your new gift of uh, a mineralized healthy liquor. Like I said, it's a therapy if you use it right. And, and I usually let it wait before I even touch this. I'll let this wait about two weeks and it doesn't have to go in your refrigerator. It just sits on the, on the counter here because you want the, the normal room temperature because there's bacteria in here and I want them to eat the sugar. You can even if you want to make this so it's more potent, more vinegary, alcoholy, you can put an ounce of raw white sugar in here. But then you want to make sure you don't fill it up as much because it's going to go ahead and make everything grow in there and you'll have to burp it several times just until the sugar's gone. And once it's gone like that, put the cap on or you know, tighten it up, put it in the refrigerator. It's good for, you know, like alcohol, hundreds of years. So, real simple. Okay, there we go. Have fun. Uh, aloha.